In today's assigned reading, we're going to find a lot of comparisons between toddlers and chimpanzees. Why? Mm, toddlers and chimps have similar levels of intelligence, and chimps are also our closest evolutionary ancestors. We share like 99% of our DNA, so you'd expect to find that we're pretty similar in cognitive tasks. But that means if we see differences in the urge to communicate between chimpanzees and toddlers, then we can conclude it's not because the babies are smarter than the chimps, it's just because they're more social. So these are some of the differences you're going to observe. Chimps will point to things only in order to get something, like in order to get a human to give the chimpanzee an object, they will reach out their hand toward it as if to get it. And I put point in quotation marks there because they don't even use their finger to point. They just will only reach out their hand as if to communicate, I want that thing, give me that thing. Toddlers, on the other hand, will point not only to get something that they want, but also in order to communicate to another person, to help them, to answer a question. They will point to help another person. Chimpanzees never do that. You'll also see in your reading that chimpanzees won't share food with another, but toddlers will share food with others. And in fact, chimpanzees, when given a little bit of food, uh, and it's an unfair amount because another chimpanzee got more, the chimpanzee will accept what he got because it feels better than nothing. But a toddler would rather reject the food that was offered in a statement of, this isn't fair than to accept something that is an unfair quantity. They would rather go without than to reject the idea of fairness. And this underlies, again, this, this, this social construction that there are certain principles of altruism and fairness and cooperation that underlie the human experience that are devoid from the chimpanzee experience. Also, we find that chimpanzees understand another's goals. They know what other chimpanzees want, but they don't display this concept that you'll read about called joint attention, where one chimpanzee can pay attention to a thing and another chimpanzee can pay attention to the same thing, and both chimpanzees know that they're paying attention to the same thing and they can then communicate about that same thing. Whereas toddlers early on can intentionally pay attention to the same thing as another. If you point to something, they, avert, they, they divert their attention toward that thing, and they try to get your attention toward a thing by pointing at it and making uh, very loud and flamboyant vocalizations. So some of toddlers' skills come from socialization. These, these social skills that toddlers have we think they, they might come just from the fact that they're being raised by other human beings. Indeed, when you take a chimpanzee and you raise it in a human home, as if it were a human infant, I know that sounds crazy. Why would you do that? It, 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 it's, uh, it, you certainly wouldn't want to do it if you care about the China, right? But um, if you take this chimpanzee and you raise it as if it's a human infant, then they actually do develop some of these skills. They will sometimes point to communicate. They will sometimes learn about fairness and, and increased altruism and things like that. They they will begin to understand some of the, the, the more uh, social constructs that exist in, in the human sphere, and they will also be, uh, begin to learn certain signs that the humans are using in their communication and uh, be able to use them in flexible ways. That goes to show that some of the human toddler's uh, intentions to, to be a communicative social being come from its socialization. Were it not so, a chimpanzee raised by humans would not develop increased social awareness and social intentions. But because a chimpanzees being raised by humans do not fully compensate, do not create a fully social being on par with a human toddler, we can still assume that some of the social cognitions and the social dispositions that a toddler has to communicate clearly and to be proactively cooperating 
some of that, quite a bit of that, we assume, is because of just like a sociality built into the human child's DNA. Some of it's socialized, but some of it is just inherent in what it means to be a human. 